Before we can create the transition, we want to select both clips and you want to press S for scale and set it to 108. The reason for this is because it will fix problems later on. Now, once you've got yourself both clips side by side and you're ready to create the transition, the first effect is going to be the RGB split. You want to duplicate the first clip and then we're going to recomposition, call this one glitch RGB split. Go ahead and move all attributes, press OK. And then we're going to open this up. You want to select the first clip. And if you switch over to the mode, we can set it to a add. Because in here, we can apply two simple effects, starting off with the set channels and also a basic wiggle position. What we're going to do now is we're going to select this layer, go ahead and duplicate it two more times. Starting with the first one, we're going to disable the green channel and the blue channel on the first one. For the second one, disable the red channel, get rid of the blue. And then the last one, we're going to get rid of the red and green. And this will give you your red channel, green channel and blue channel. The reason why we've split them is because we can now use the wiggle position by altering the speed and the amount. You want to type in any random speed. So let's say three for the first one, 75 for the amount, the second one is going to be set to 2.5 or any random number, 65, and then the last one to 4 and 80. And as you can see, we now have the RGB split. Once you've got yourself the RGB split, we're going to go back onto comp one. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to trim this down so it only appears a few seconds before the transition. So it will RGB split, transition, into the next clip. You want to repeat the same steps for the second clip as well. And then once you've done that, it will look something like this. You will have your RGB split from first clip to the second, and then it will stop. The next effect that we're going to get ourselves is going to be a new adjustment layer. We're going to call this one noise and glow. You want to get yourself a basic noise effect like this one, apply it on the adjustment and then just set this to, let's say, 40%. We just want to get ourselves a little bit of noise and grain. For the second one, we're going to apply a basic After Effects Glow, change the intensity to free. Same as before, just trim this down so it only appears while the transition is visible. For the next effect, we're going to create the distortion effect. And for this one, we need to once again get ourselves a new adjustment layer. For this one, we're just going to call it distortion or distort. And then for this one, we're going to apply a fractal noise. We're going to set it to block for the type. You can apply any random settings that you want. But for me, I've set this one to 592. I've set the brightness to 50, complexity to 20, the transform, I've unticked it and I've set the width to 2000 and then the height to 1000. This will give you this distortion effect. At the moment, we need to set the blend mode to multiply to blend it with the original video. And then as you can see at the moment, nothing is going to happen. It's just going to be a still image. So in order to animate this, you have to hold Alt or Option key, left click on the stopwatch evolution and type in noise bracket time times two and then out the bracket times 5000. This will give you a nice smooth random distortion effect which will look like this. Now same as before you only want it to be visible right here. So we're just going to trim this down and then the next effect is going to be the overall glitch. For this one we have to right click go to new get yourself a solid and just call it glitch. We're just going to pre comp this and then just once again, call it glitch. Move all attributes. We're just going to open this up and apply a fractal noise as well in this one. We're going to set it to block same as before. The settings are going to be 200 for the contrast minus 20 for the brightness. The transform is going to be unticked for the uniform scaling and we're going to have 8000 along with 3000. Same as before, nothing is going to happen. 
up until we create an expression for the evolution. And this time we're just going to type in a simple one of time times 3000. This will just make it randomly create this effect. We can go back onto comp one. Once again, we're going to trim this down. And for this one, we can hide this layer. We don't need it to be visible. And then finally, the very last effect that we're going to get ourselves is one more adjustment layer, which we're going to rename to displace. For this one, we're going to use a displacement map, apply it onto here, link it up with the glitch effect. This is very important. And then once you change the max horizontal display, you'll notice the glitch distortion. For this one, we're going to set it to 252. And there we go. There is our glitch effect. At the moment, if you have any gaps or black areas like here, you can tick this option and that will fill it in with other parts of the video. And like I said before, one final time, trim this one down so it's only visible while the transition is here. Now we're also going to zoom in and slightly adjust this so that the RGB split is going to be the first one. Then we're going to have the distortion and then the glitch afterwards. So it's going to RGB split, it's going to distort, glitch, transition, and then once again, drag this one out as well. If we have a look at this now, we have the glitch effect. You can make this shorter by selecting these layers, trim it down. And if we have a look at this now, we have a nice glitch effect.